What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, uh, another practice update video for you. It's the beginning of a new week. You know, we, we've all weathered through the storm, right? We've all let our emotions run free about this uh, group, this regime, these group of players. And, you know, it's time to time to advance to a new week, you know, and we'll see if something were to change. But uh, at the end of the day, we're just going to head and keep moving forward and viewing what we need to get done. So I appreciate all the support on the channels as of recently. Uh, the live stream, again, went really well this last weekend. So I greatly appreciate you guys uh, hopping in there and showing your support, even if it was just to troll me. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, and also on the videos as well. All the videos doing it's exceptionally well over the last few days and uh, the sub count as well has been phenomenal. We've gotten pretty much over a thousand subs over the last month, uh, which is absolutely incredible. I don't think that we've seen a growth in the channel by this much ever in the history of the channel. So we greatly appreciate you guys coming in and showing your support, but let's go ahead and hop into the report on uh, the practice players and who was practicing and who wasn't. Really, there was only one player who did not practice today, and that was Bernard Ryman, which is a little bit of a concern due to the fact that, you know, we heard that, you know, he should maybe start, he might end up starting to take time away from prior at some point, but you know, Ryman apparently now has an ankle injury and didn't look very great. I don't know how that happened, but at the end of the day, yeah, he, he didn't practice and it's not looking great for him to start the week. Uh, three players who were limited participants. DeForest Buckner with the hip, Yannick uh, Ngakwe with the back, and Michael Pittman Jr. with the quad. Uh, Buckner, as we obviously saw, played last week and... Michael Pittman, everyone is now basically hearing that, you know, Michael Pittman should be ready to go, barring any setback on the quad, and that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, apparently, some new names uh, being put on the list, Julian Blackman, Zaire Franklin, and Grover Stewart, all with shoulder injuries, uh, both all those guys being full. So, again, shouldn't be any concern there. I get the point of Grover Stewart having that shoulder injury. He's putting the whole freaking team on his shoulders, especially that defense, man. He's been the, one of the only guys on the defense that's actually been doing anything for us. Uh, so those guys are full. Alec Pierce was a full participant at practice today, back from his concussion protocol. So they're optimistic he's going to be ready for next week, as long as, obviously, like I said, as long as there's no setback for him there. And Shaquille Leonard, also full participant again. That's the fourth full practice in a row that he has been a full participant in. So fully expect him to be back this next week. If he's not, then we got a serious friggin' issue here. Uh, but this is just a quick update, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these players, uh, guys who didn't practice, guys who are limited, and guys who are full. But I will keep you guys updated if we hear anything more. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, guys, go Colts.